Hi there, you are watching IndianExpress.com videos. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has warned cow vigilantes in the country that killing in the name of cow is unacceptable. He was speaking at the centenary celebrations of the Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. Prime Minister said, and I quote, Killing people in the name of cow is unacceptable. No one has the right to take law into his or her hands. We belong to a land of non-violence. Violence is not the solution to any problem. He added that Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, would never approve of such incidents. The remarks come in the backdrop of several incidents of lynching and murder of people by self-styled cow vigilante groups over rumours of cow slaughter. The most recent incident was the murder of 15-year-old Junaid Khan by a group of people on a Mathura-bound train in Balabgarh in Haryana after the escalation of an argument over seats. Junaid, who was accompanied by his two brothers, was going back home after each shopping in Delhi when he was mocked over his skull cap and referred to as a beef eater. Five people have been held so far in the case. In August last year, the Prime Minister had similarly criticised the actions of self-styled cow vigilantes and asked the states to prepare cases against them. For more news and updates, log on to IndianExpress.com. Face-offs between Chinese and Indian troops over road construction on the borders of a 269 square kilometer plateau in Bhutan claimed by China has sparked off what experts are describing as the worst crisis in the relations between New Delhi and Beijing since troops from the two countries confronted each other at Dolang Big Oldie in 2013. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Liu Kang indicated that the point of friction was in the Donglong region, which he stressed belonged to China. It is reported that the incidents happened at Donglong is the part of disputed territory between China and Bhutan. As the government moves against Kashmiri separatists with a string of cases on alleged terror funding, a probe launched by the National Investigation Agency last year on the same lines has failed to find any evidence. A year down the line, the agency has found that all transactions through these bank accounts were legitimate and not connected in any way to terror funding. No evidence of terror funding or financial aid to stone pelters have been found in that case. Indian Space Research Organization's latest communication satellite, GSAT-17, on Thursday successfully launched around 2 a.m. by a heavy-duty rocket of Arian Space from the spaceport of Koryo in French Guiana. The satellite also carries equipment for meteorological, data relay and satellite-based search and rescue services being provided by earlier InSat satellites. The launch of GSAT-17 will be the third satellite launched by ISRO this month. The other two being the first developmental flight of GSLV MK3 and PSLV C-38 missions, both from Sihara Coach Spaceport. Mitali Raj led side defeated England by 35 runs and they will now lock horn with West Indies today. In a video generated by ICC, Mitali Raj talked about her side's game plan and there will be no room for complacency, especially after their win over England. Days after the family of later flight pursuer Neerja Bhanot, whose life story was brought on screen in the Sonam Kapoor led film Neerja, moved the court accusing the producers of going back on their word of sharing 10% of the movie's net profit. Foxstar Studios has stated that it owes no contractual obligation towards the Bhanuts and the issue is between the producer Atul Kasbekar and the family.